All right, guys. I know I said that this channel is not going to be about subliminal messages, mainly because they are everywhere, and uh, I would spend the rest of my life pointing them out. Uh, you know, look down at your Logitech keyboard, and, and there you'll see the Eye of Providence, the Eye of Horus, the Eye of Lucifer, the Illuminated One, whatever you want to call it. It's right there in front of your face, and it, it's always been right there in front of your face. Most people don't want to see it. What got me on this journey? A little history. I am a first-person shooter fanatic. I love first-person shooters. I, I love simulation games. Anything that kind of takes you out of this bullshit reality that we live in, I, I kind of enjoy it. I've always been a fan of first-person shooters. In fact, the first first-person shooter that I ever played was Wolfenstein 3D. Um, a lot of people haven't even played that game. It's it's one it's what I consider the first first person shooter, but I didn't know if that was the first first person shooter. So I went on a little journey. And uh, last night I typed in the Google search bar what was the first first person shooter. And uh, it led me on a journey because I noticed when I was playing Call of Duty uh, 2 Modern Warfare they didn't even try to hide it. Look at that right there. This is what got me looking into video games for um, subliminal messages. This right here. You guys, you guys screwed up when you did this because this really opened my eyes a lot. Just the fact that you would do that and use that as a symbol. The first first-person shooter was Maze War. Uh, so they say there there's a debate on which one was the first first person shooter but um, what got me on this journey was I wanted to know how long these subliminal messages have been in video games and I thought I was gonna have to go on a long journey I thought I was gonna have to go through each and every first person shooter since the start and I didn't have to do that I went to what was uh, supposedly the first first person shooter ever and I I had to stop my search there because I didn't have to look any further. Uh, look, this is what this is. Look at this. This is who you are. You are an eyeball walking down a hallway, which looks like a hallway, right? But no matter which hallway you turn, you're gonna see this. This end right here, the the ending wall, and perception will always give you this triangle with this eye in it. So I said, well, since my search is over, let's see who developed this. You know, who started this? Who started this movement? <laughs> eh. I'm telling you guys, man, Wikipedia, just going on random searches and you'll find some pretty interesting stuff. So supposedly NASA is the one that, that writ this program. And if you need any proof that NASA is a demonic and evil entity, they are mentioned by name in Revelations. Well, not mentioned by name. <clears throat> they mentioned the uh, Apollo uh, by name. Apollo, Abaddon, Polyon, whatever you want to call them. It's the, same, it's the same thing. It's all the same thing. And that's basically the Angel of Abyss. The, uh, the destroyer, if you will. So, right off the bat, NASA has, you know, is proven to be an evil, demonic entity, if you want to call them that, if you believe in demons or evil, if you believe in evil. I believe evil exists. I don't think anybody's going to doubt that. And uh, when I saw this title at the uh, the store, and I know I'm bouncing all over the place here because I don't have a script. I just do this. So it is what it is. If I screw up, I screw up. Um, Mario is the undeniable mascot for Nintendo. I don't think anybody's going to deny that he is the mascot for Nintendo. He is their go-to guy. And I don't think anybody's going to deny that Sonic is Sega's mascot. And now you have two completely different publishers working together to create a game. Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. That's interesting because Rio is the place where the uh, 2016 games. Rio is where the 2016 games are going to be held. Now if you take Rio out, 
you're left with Masonic. M A S O N I C. So uh, the the the, uh, the the reach of the Illuminati or the quote unquote Illuminati uh, to control every aspect of our life is right in front of your face. I mean, they control the Olympics, they control the gaming industry, they control the electronics, they control everything. There's nothing they don't control. We're living in their world. Um, I'm going to leave a link to this in the description because this is what really, really got me started. Um, the, 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 the perks from Modern Warfare 2 was just the beginning. It was the tip of the iceberg. <clears throat> in the game, and the game itself, there are tons and tons and tons of subliminal messages and um, I'm going to leave a link to this in the description because this is probably one of the best um, put together videos for this people don't people don't see these things because they flash so fast in front of your face that you know you have to slow it down in order to see some of these things well, anyways this is just uh, a short video hopefully that um, can open your eyes to the truth <laughs> look <laughs> I couldn't believe this man I couldn't this is this is something I had to share because <laughs> I didn't have to look I did not have to look at all what was the first first person shooter that's all I wanted to know that's all I really wanted to know and then it led me on this whole whole freaking journey here thanks for listening